All right, so this is still lesson 26. Practice problem 1D. So now if he has one third pan of brownies, how many pans of brownies would each friend receive? I'm gonna change this to how many pans of brownies would each friend receive? So think about what we've done in the previous problems, okay? He starts with one third pan of brownies and he has to divide it into or divide it by three people to share equally. So what does that look like as a tape diagram, right? The tape diagram. Your tape diagram, you're going to draw your hole, right? Here's our hole. And our hole is divided into thirds. So he only has a third of a pan. So this is the third that he has. But he has to divide this third of a pan by three people. So each friend is going to receive, now this small section is what each friend receives. This small section represents what? If this section is one third, what does this small section represent? Good, it represents one ninth because we have to do the same to this third and this third. So now each third is separated into thirds. So and there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ninths gives us one whole. So this little piece here is what each friend receives, which is one ninth, okay? Remember that when you have a fraction, when you start with a fraction and you divide it by a whole number, your answer it is getting smaller and smaller because Nolan kept giving his friends a smaller and smaller part of the pan to share. It's We started with three pans of brownies. And after three pans of brownies, we did one pan of brownies. So if he had three pans of brownies, each friend got one pan. Then we moved to only one pan of brownies. So he had one pan of brownies to share with three friends. That only gave each friend one third. Then we went to one half. He has one half of a pan of brownies. And then now we're here at one third. The three people sharing the brownies stayed the same. That's why the answer became smaller.